Avid recently released Media Composer 2018.2 with shape-based color correction features. In this video tutorial, I'll cover these new features for isolated color grading and also show you how and when editors can use the Mocha tools from Boris FX for more advanced tracking, masking, and effect isolation. To get started, I've launched Avid Media Composer 2018.12. Shape-based color correction requires the Symphony option. Now when we enter color correction mode, you can find spline-based shape tools here. Media Composer has the ability to ripple color correction settings through a project, but we need to switch to CC effect to activate the shape tools. I want to add a little saturation and contrast to the plants in the background, so I'll create an ellipse here. You can show the mat and soften the edges to make this a traditional garbage mat. Now with the shape button selected, any color grading will be isolated to this shape. Let's add a little color and contrast to the mids. And then we can manually keyframe the shape to follow. If we want to do overall corrections in the same shot, we can select the base button and we have separate controls for the base and the isolated shape correction. In this next example, we'll brighten up these actor's eyes. We'll enter effects mode for more control. In the shape section, we'll use the curve tool to draw a shape, click and drag to draw. We'll make another shape for the other eye. We'll soften the shapes. Note each shape has its own soften settings. Then let's brighten the highlights and mids. Instead of manual keyframing, we'll use motion tracking. Enable the tracker here. But note that Abbott's tracker will always track from the first frame forwards. We can set the search area, then track forwards. If our track is solid, we can select each shape and apply the track here. I'll make sure to go back to the frame I created the shapes on before updating the position. We'll correct a few keyframes. Now we've tracked the isolated eye correction. Shape-based color correction is also perfect for secondary color correction. Here we want to change this blue without affecting the other blue values in the shot. We'll create a rough spline shape and then use the secondaries to swing the blue values over towards the red. Next, I'll cover a more advanced masking and color correction shot. My goal here is to color correct the dancer's dress. For this, I'll take advantage of the Mocha tools found inside Sapphire and Continuum plugins from Boris FX. I'll add a tritone effect from the Sapphire Adjust folder. But isolating effects can be done from any number of Continuum or Sapphire filters. We'll tint the shot blue, then launch the Mocha button. Almost every Sapphire and Continuum plugin has Mocha embedded for shape-based isolation. In Mocha's custom interface, we now have the Essentials workspace to simplify your roto and tracking. The new magnetic spline tool found in our 2019 releases is designed to snap to edges and helps create articulate and accurate shapes. You can smooth the tangent handles with a right click. Now we will track forwards. Mocha's rock-solid planar tracking means we do not have to worry about specific points or details. Using this workflow, we have advanced control over keyframing with less manual work. With the arm now tracked, we'll create a new layer for the dancer's dress. Mocha's layer system can track multiple shapes at once, so we'll place the arm layer above the dress layer and track forwards. We'll add a few more keyframes, and then set the arm layer to subtract. I'll exit Mocha, and back in the Media Composer timeline, our color correction is properly obeying our masks. With our subtraction mask properly set up, we can now continue to tweak our isolated correction. And if we wanted to take this shot even further, any Mocha project can be reused in multiple ways. 
For example, we'll go back and save our Mocha project to file. Now I can add additional Boris Effects plugins. For example, I will add a Sapphire Glow effect to the filler layer on V2. We'll launch the Mocha interface and then open the Mocha project that we've previously saved. Now we've repurposed the same exact Mocha masking to isolate the Sapphire Glow effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. For more great Avid-related effects and finishing training, visit us at borisfx.com.